Hello, welcome to Real Food, and in this video I am going to review a French um, patisserie called Aurine. It's a London-based, um, central London-based uh, patisserie. They've got amazing, beautiful-looking uh, pastries, and I really, really do like pastries. I know they've got sugar and other things, but during winter you kind of feel like you want those sweet, warming, delicious-tasting pastries to keep you warm and comfy. And we are now again in lockdown in London, and it's, gosh, it's like t tier, th no, three. Three, we are past three, we are tier four, so it's like everything's been shut again, so... But hopefully delivery will continue delivering these delicious pastries and cakes, and people can be um, well-fed and at least enjoy something um, beautiful and tasty. So I'm going to show you what I ordered. I ordered some of the really lovely pastries. Look how gorgeous they are. So there's one chocolate, um, um, I forgot the name of it, <laughs> and one um, and one cream filled um, uh, pastry. So they look absolutely gorgeous. I also ordered some um, some snacks in there, and one of the snacks I ordered was one of their baguettes. Um, French patisseries typically um, produce lovely baguettes. So here here it is. I ordered um, uh, cheese and ham baguette, fresh. Um, so there's some uh, a salad leaf and a tomato there, I think. So that's and of course, um, French patisseries are famous for their um, for their um, croissants, and I ordered a chocolate one. So here it is. So here's my chocolate croissant. It's looking gorgeous, and very interestingly. This um, patisserie, of course, it traditionally has baguettes and things like that, but this one also has, it's called um, Swedish or Nordic bread, so it's a rye bread with seeds, rye flour, and um, other really interesting ingredients. It's not about my camera work. I'll just show you what it looks like. It looks amazing. It looks really gorgeous. So it's quite small, but it's a very, you can see, it's a very delicious looking healthy bread. So well, these are my um, treats, um, which I'm sure the bread will last for, for a while. Um, the pastries I'm sure I'll eat, and the snack I will eat. Um, these um, gorgeous um, sweet pastries will probably last also a couple of days. So I'm going. I'm not going to eat them immediately, but um, they definitely will be enjoyed. I will also show you their menu and review what else they've got on the menu, as usual, and hopefully you'll find something useful there. Here we are. Uh, here is the branch where I ordered my delicious pastries. This one is located in Covent Garden. I actually have been to this branch. It's a really lovely cafe is just off Covent Garden. It's, um, um, as it says, on number 44 Wellington Street. And there are lots of other little shops and cafes there, so it's in a really, really lovely spot in there. So do, do pop into this um, cafe when you get a chance. And now we're going to see what they actually offer uh, for delivery through Deliveroo um, Network. So, as you can see, well, some of these pastries, well, these are breads, they also bake breads, so if you want some fresh bread, you can order from here. The ones that are grayed out, they've been sold out, and some of the other traditional French breads they offer include their traditional baguettes, um, olive sticks, um, and various other baguette-style breads with additional um, infusions in them, such as walnuts and... Um, um, additional elements and they've got olives um, so um, these are really really nice and they're freshly baked um, on daily basis I didn't order anything this time but maybe next time they've even got those Nordic breads well actually I did order my Nordic bread um, from this menu so it's three pound seventy and this bread was really really lovely so here we've got again traditional French pastry. They've got croissants, they've got um, chocolate croissants, plain raisin croissants. Um, they've got um, additional white chocolate. Mm, that sounds very interesting. Never tried that one, but um, it sounds very unusual. Um, then they also offer um, typical almond croissant, which we also have in Pret in London. Um, and they've got really beautiful looking croissants. Check check out that um, chocolate Nutella croissant. 
um, it's got that um, very contrasting, um, beautiful um, shape and, and pattern. Uh, very interesting. And then they've got raspberry croissant. That's interesting. I've never tried a raspberry croissant. And they've got um, Swiss croissant. Swiss is, is just um, uh, with addition of um, chocolate um, chocolate um, elements in there. And it's a, it's a long, sort of sticky kind of type. They also of, offer donuts. And they look very unusual and um, potentially delicious. I haven't tried any of these. But they look really, really lovely. So they've got vanilla, vanilla cream donut, um, raspberry donut, um, and they've got a Nutella donut. Um, so it's um, it's a good choice. I don't know if there's more. I think in the next um, menu page we're going to see a little more. So um, now baked goods. Um, brownie, gluten-free. Mm, that's an, a very interesting one. I'll definitely try this later. Then they've got custard flan, also looking very delicious. Uh, cookie chocolate. Mm, and um, blueberry muffin. I, I really like muffins. Um, so this is potentially on my um, going to be on my next order. Uh, so... Um, but we're now gradually getting to to those menu items that look particularly beautiful. And this is what Ori is famous for. But before we get there, we've got some more muffins. We've got chocolate zebra. Uh, we've got carrot cake um, looking gorgeous. Uh, we've got chocolate um, my, my cut or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is actually. Uh, wheat, sugar, butter, eggs, chocolate. Looks interesting, but I'm not sure I understand what the name of this cake. Okay, and they've got cinnamon bun, which is um, familiar, and they've got apple crumble. Apple crumble is traditionally British, but I guess they've got it in France too. So, um, in the next menu, we're going to see, um, let's see, oh yes, here we are. And this is what Ori is so famous for. They've got these really beautiful looking um, pastries. And what I did try this time is this chocolate eclair. It's it's quite, well, I mean, you could say it's pricey. It's it's expensive, £6.70. And it's a very small eclair, I have to add. For this amount of money, you could get several boxes and you'd get like 20 eclairs maybe from Tesco. But I have to say, this is gorgeous. And also, I've, I've, I've tried this other cake um, with layers of cream in there. And again, this cake was absolutely delicious. So more, um, they've got now sandwiches. Sandwiches I also did try. So they've got honey roast ham and mature cheddar cheese. They've got turmeric um, and chicken. They've got avocado chicken. They've got chicken parmesan. So they've got a really good selection of sandwiches. And these are going to be traditional French style sandwiches. This is going to be baguette, a freshly baked baguette with some um, green leaf inside them, maybe tomato, some salad and some additional fillings um, like chicken or, or ham. Or These are very traditional French snacks or lunches. So in the next um, page, I guess we're going to see um, a few more. Yes, so they've got, they've got um, tomato and mozzarella looking absolutely delicious. They've got avocado um, bun. And they've got tomato and mozzarella charcoal. Well, I actually, what I ordered, I ordered this tomato ham and cheese and rocket salad uh, bun. But the shop actually called me as soon as I placed my order and they told me that these um, bun sandwiches, um, they've run out of them. And um, so instead they offered me um, their traditional baguette, which was also very, very nice. I really liked it. And it was really, really nice of them to call very, very quickly. Basically, within a few minutes of me placing the order, I guess they checked the order and they looked and said, oh, we've, we haven't got um, the bun. And they called and, and offered replacement, which I used um, so here we've got more, well, quiches, they're again traditional French um, snacks. So they've got traditional um, goat cheese, veggie, um, Lorraine, um, um, and they've got some sandwiches there as well. So um, so we're nearly, 
nearly um, uh, um, revised their entire menu. Well, the one they offer on um, on Deliveroo, and they've also got various drinks. So they've got Avian, um, they've got Diet Coke, Coke, a San Pellegrino, which is nice. So they've got a traditional selection of um, cold drinks, um, which you could also order with your meal. So hopefully you like this review, um, and you will try your own um your, your own, um, um, you, you will order something from this lovely uh, patisserie. And let me wish you bon appetit and we'll chat again soon.